start with a few comments on the third wave. A, a third wave is not inevitable. Um, some countries haven't even had one wave because of the work they have done. So our work really is focused on preventing the third wave from happening. And that is in our, it's in our collective hands. A government, like you've seen over the last few weeks, has been very proactive. We've stopped travel to some high incidence countries. Very difficult, stopping travel from people coming back from a friendly, uh, collaborating country. It's not an easy decision for any government to take. So we've made some very hard decisions as a government to protect ourselves. We have reinstituted the guidelines, reminded everyone on what they are recently. Uh, the Presidential Steering Committee continues to meet, continues to drive policy. So we're very determined, as much as possible, um, to avoid the third wave. But we know we can't do it on our own, because as much as you restrict air travel, we understand the realities of our borders. There will always be exceptions here and there. So we need Nigerians on board. And that's really why this campaign is so important. We need it, all of us to understand this is not something you do for your government. It's something we do for ourselves. You could have heard that two uh, leaders in government spoke out of their own experience during the outbreak. And I'm sure many others would have had similar stories to tell. Um, and yes, while some survive, not all do. And you just have to look, watch TV every evening to see what is going on in other countries. So we want to avoid that situation. And we're going to work very hard together with everyone involved in this campaign, especially yourselves, to make sure we don't get into that situation. We're taking the message to the suburbs, to every part of Nigeria, but it's not something we can do on our own. And really, that is why we're doing this campaign. And that's why there's no single agency leading on this. We're doing it together. Um, the risk comes pillar in the Presidential Steering Committee is probably the broadest pillar among all of uh, all the working groups because of the multiple ministries, departments, agencies, partners that have a role to play. And, and I, I think it really brings us a lot of joy to actually see um, everyone collaborating without any struggle for who's leading or what. So, because we all recognize that none of us, uh, nobody can do social media, do community engagement, do TV, do radio, do print, and do it well. It's not possible. We need everyone on the table. So it's not one or the other. Um, on the question between vaccines and um, the other public health, public and social measures. You know, um, the most important factor to understand is it is not one or the other. That's the first thing. And secondly, what we're doing is not about individual risk. This is really around population risk. And until we get our vaccine coverage rates high enough to enable population-based immunity to happen, we cannot stop the other things completely. So that's really why we need to do these things together. And that's why when you wear a mask on your own in a room and nobody else is wearing a mask, it is not enough. We all have to do it to protect each other. So that's why we have to keep pushing on these things because it's only by achieving scale, scale in vaccination, scale in hand washing, scale in wearing masks that we can get the most benefit out of this. And when we start getting more and more people vaccinated, then we can start making decisions like some countries have done, even though it's fairly controversial on when to stop some of the other measures. And so on the final uh, point on the importance of this campaign, um, I, I think the point has been made, you know, uh, complacency is a normal human consequence for a message that is a little bit inconvenient for all of us. Uh, whether we, and especially for us in Nigeria, to be honest, because of the way we live normally, we work, we socialize, we pray, we dance, we, we live together. So this is very difficult for us uh, to continue doing. So we need, just like my brother said, constant reminding on how important it is. So we really count on your support to take this message to every household in Nigeria, 
let it become part of uh, our collective memory whenever we're tempted um, to drop the ball. So I look forward to uh, working on this together, learning from you. I look forward to seeing many innovative approaches on how to uh, spread this message. Uh, yes, we've come up with some through our partner CCSI, but there may be others that will come up and I really encourage you to uh, uh, use whatever means you have uh, to amplify those messages as much as you can. So thank you very uh, much. I look forward to working with all of you uh, on the campaign ahead. So, and then the, the vaccine. The vaccine, let, let's, let's be clear, with COVAX, 40 million will come over time. Only 3.924 million doses have arrived so far. Our aim is to get to vaccinate over 100 million uh, people in Nigeria. That is going to take a long time. The success so far has been a very, very positive, but it's going to take, that is 1.8 million at the moment have taken the first dose, and the second dose will be taken between now and the 12th of July. That is, that is a success, but it's a small success that we need to build on. And it's not the solution. The solution is when you take preventative measures plus the vaccine. And the vaccine is going to take a long time, so in the meantime, we must focus on the preventative measures while we're, we're, we're taking this uh, forward. The vaccine is also mutating. It's trying to survive. It's trying to, and, and we've seen it's getting to younger and younger people. So addressing it at school level is a critical message to our younger uh, brothers and sisters to take measures themselves, but also to ensure that adults take measures themselves. As I said, they are the best communicators to tell us what to do, and they themselves do it themselves. But the impact on children of COVID, while it's minimal in COVID itself, the um, impact in the longer term around poverty, around drops in immunization rate. I was looking at immunization rates, uh, routine immunization uh, across the country. It dipped in May and June last year. It dipped again in January and February this year. We're not back up to where we want to be. Rem we must remind ourselves it's in the reach of 800,000 children die a year of preventative diseases. It's that we need to ensure that primary health care continues uninterrupted. And I think uh, Dr. Chikwe and I are working on trying to ensure that uh, all health workers are protected with, with Dr. Faisal, not only with vaccine, but also with PPEs over the next uh, few months so that they can resume their duties and keep, keep going. That is the most important factor. Poverty and primary health care has an impact on, on children. The flash in the pan, if I may remind the, the media, that is up to you. We are the catalyst, we give you the information. You can continue the campaign as long as it is required. You can keep reminding people, you can keep raising it on your agenda, you can keep asking the, the questions, you can e keep going into the communities and asking the communities about their awareness and what measures they have taken. You can go to schools and talk to them. We can be the catalyst, but you can sustain that, that catalyst. So I, I plea to you is keep going, keep inventing, reinventing that wheel, keep looking and raising the issue about how can we prevent the third wave. If the third wave does come, how can we uh, mitigate against the, the threat that it, it uh, does? Keep asking that question and keep sustaining the story throughout the period. And it will be for another two years, maybe longer. Thank you. The of the Director of Public Health and all uh, directors present, the country representative of UNICEF and all representative of UN agencies, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by congratulating the government of Nigeria for the launch of this national social campaign to change behavior and reduce further transmission of the COVID-19 virus. For a healthier and safer Nigeria, joining forces in the fight against COVID-19. 
The COVID-19 pandemic has reiterated the need for multidimensional approaches in fighting pandemics and the need for collective actions. In all the countries, media channels and currently are, are currently inundated with information and also misinformation on COVID-19. This is why there needs to be a well-concerted communication effort to stimulate collective action and to prevent further spread of COVID-19, because uh, as it has been said, this is not over.